so we need a door somehow and it's quite interesting really because the door is obviously going to fit here but when it opens out that top bit will hit the roof now i always knew this was going to be a, an issue so we've got to work out some cool way of making this work out this way and then you just flip it over okay let's get this mighty door built it's pretty big and it's going to be quite heavy plus it's going to have stuff in there it's going to be flipped down tables so you got your tools and bits and you can work so that's the idea of it i've got some big hinges coming i've got a heavy duty wheel for the other end so it keeps this whole thing stable and it can roll out but i'm going to do lots of halving joints so this thing is nice and solid get that glued and screwed together so lots of marking out and cutting hinge up and then you have a work surface uh, I'm liking that <laughs> I've made up previously these timber fronts you know what they don't quite look right with this so I've run up some of the ply which actually looks really sweet against that so you've got the same sort of materials going on here. Sometimes you just have to do the right thing. I've got to make this bike shed secure. And so I've got this big throw bolt. So the idea is that this will fix on the back of the door with some bolts through. And this tab here will slot through the OSB and the cladding. Padlock through that, but we need a plate. Now I've got this aluminium sheet here. It's quite nice thickness. And then drill a slot. Now, I work with wood, don't really work with metal, but I kind of need to do this. And I just looked online and it turns out that even with a standard high speed steel router cutter for wood, if you take it gently, you can actually mill out on aluminium, which I think is fantastic. I've cut a hole in metal. I think that is the first time I've ever done anything like that. This is what I love. You, you go on the internet, on YouTube, see a video or two, come back and you can do it. I learned something new. Fantastic. There you are, the mighty door. More of a wall than a door actually. Okay, hinges on. Moment of truth. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah! What a beautiful spring day. But we're under cover, which is great. So I was planning to have a section fixed to the top, hinged, and now it would then hinge down. Which would work. This door's pretty heavy and I don't want to add any additional weight there and you'd have to open the door a bit, pull a handle, wrap that down. And it's simple, but it's not really that elegant solution. So what I'm thinking now is and they will hinge up out of the way. My wife came up with a suggestion which actually is really cool. And she asked, why can't the top bits? automatically open up when the door opens. Open the door and up they go. Oh, I love it. Oh, I could do that for the hours. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. And then the knot slips. It will be tied properly when it's done, don't worry. Only one more thing to do before we take this apart and that is to make the main thing of the whole shed which is the slider start opening the door i've only got one hooked up at the moment 
and the string snaps. <laughs> uh, let's get that tied up again and try again.